this, I'll do all of the Contra games, or as many as I want, or I can, including the new ones, like Hardcore Uprising and stuff like that. Yeah, the thing is that I eventually used uh, Chilean Retro Gamer as my main channel and I left this one aside for like a year and a half. <clears throat> then when I got this one partnered, I started to move my content to this channel, so there was a reason behind that. I am the toxic. Re Wait, didn't I just rescue this guy? Alright, let me make a save now. Alright, that was a good start. Wait, I, I jumped. Alright, that was fucked up. Alright, careful, careful, careful. Alright, I, I got the handle it. I was like, dude, how do I do anything? How do I move? But yeah, I mean, over the years I didn't want to, like, stop using a channel for prioritizing another, and... In the end I got them all partnered, even though I get paid shit amount of money. At this point the money's not even a thing. Back in the day, yes, I, it was a thing. No, I didn't play all of these games. Many of these runs are actually blind. I don't know, did you watch the, the last um, RetroQuest pre-recorded video I did, Predator 2? For Master System, that was a complete blind run. Basically, I'm taking like scans from all magazines and make a list out of the games that appear on those magazines. If you guys notice, for example, the last RetroQuest uh, games I did on this channel, basically all of them are from 1990, 1991. Have you noticed? Basically because I took them from magazines of the time. So many games coincidentally are games that he played on, on in the past, but many others are actually blind runs. Alright. So we have um, Waterfall. I saw the ship down there. That one I remember a lot for some reason. So basically this is like an expansion of the previous world. The same thing happened with the forest area. It depends on the game. Some, I mean, I, I'm not the research type. There are a lot of people who do a lot of research before doing a walkthrough of a game. Basically to... I mean, I don't want to sound like annoying or, or an, like a complete asshole, but a lot of people do that basically to show themselves as knowledgeable people. But if there is something I do not know about the game, I just simply say it. Dude, it's the first time I play this game, never heard of it, I saw it in a magazine and I just want to try it out. But honestly, never ever done anything with the game, never heard of it, never read reviews, never heard like being other versions of the very same game. I just play it and make my comments on the way. But there are games in which I do know a lot about. You know, Mortal Kombat is one of my favorite series. I know a lot of stuff about releases, versions, differences in terms of each version. And I pulled them out not because I want to seem knowledgeable about games in general, it's because I do know those details because I'm a big fan of certain series. And basically I want people to know how much of a fan I am of said series, for example. I do that all the time, but I, I do not like to like show myself as a knowledgeable person for every game. Just the ones that I do play a lot of, and the, the ones that I'm mostly interested in. Because there are many games that I played and I really regretted playing them. Because they're not very good in the end, but hey, blind runs have that risk. Dude! <laughs> Barely saved my ass from touching the Dodo, even though it will not really make a difference if I touch him or not. No, I've got a question. Okay, I'm out of here. What's with this background? I mean, it's fine, we have like a weird effect. But what's with the woman's shoe? So it's basically put whatever shit in the background and make it as little... You know, make it... Make little sense. Little to no sense. Some random shit. Wait a minute, okay. Yeah, I hate making saves when I have one health left. 
One heart in this case, I cannot go back very easily. I'm just checking if there is stuff down there. Except death. There is nothing else apparently. Oh yeah, I can go up. Alright. Yeah, I mean, there are games that I play for the first time. And probably you will notice that I do get angry sometimes. I try to control myself most of the time. I'm not the angry type of YouTuber who wants to get the viewers out of the fake... Anger, but I do get annoyed sometimes when something is really annoying and I have to make repeated loads like now. No, but this is not annoying. That was basically my mistake for for taking too many hits. Thing is, I want to recover my health because I don't want to get back to three hearts. I want to keep my five hearts. Yep, using helper because I don't see myself killing this guy by normal jumps. No, right now I'm not working. I I was an English teacher for three years and I finished giving classes in December. Right now I'm on vacation time and right now in March I start my last semester of the international trading degree I'm taking. So I'm doing my pre-employment practice and also working on my thesis. But as in terms of job, I am jobless right now. Uh, eventually I will have to look for this uh, practice employment thing. Uh, from March, but right now I'm on vacation time. Just want to relax the rest of this month. That's why I'm doing a lot of streaming, a lot of recording. But yeah, I mean, I worked as an English teacher for three years after I, I beat testicular cancer, as probably some of you know, the older viewers know, that in 2013 I suffered from testicular cancer. I beat it, and from that point I became an English teacher. After finishing my degree of English language and, you know, linguistics and literature. It's like the, the, the disease happened the year after I actually graduated from my English degree. And after I beat the illness, I... I started working for three years. So... I mean, YouTube money helps, yeah, with some things. But it's not really the money that I made in 2011. That was some good money. But that, that, I mean, no YouTuber actually lives off YouTube anymore, I believe. Probably one or two guys. I mean, probably more than just two guys. But in general, it's very few people to, to actually make a living off YouTube. And if that's the case, they're not gonna last very long because they're paying less and less every year. Oh, this shit. The fake floor. Yeah, I'm repeating this, right? Yeah, I think I'm gonna beat this world before moving on. Okay, I think this is where I needed to go. Or not. Can I do a wall jump here? Yes, it looked a little risky, but... I'm taking this. Wait, it's not letting me... Okay, whatever. I can't make a regular jump there. Hmm. Okay, I don't know if I'm really going the right way, first of all. I guess I'll have to find out by making mistakes. Let me make a save now. Yeah, I mean, the wall jumping is a little bit uncomfortable here, not gonna lie. Okay, making a save now. Can I actually make, like, a jump from here without wall jumping? Because wall jumping doesn't seem to be enough. I'm probably, well, probably I don't even have to go there. 
yeah, this is the part from earlier. What about this side? Okay. Uh, ROM hacks. Those are the ones that. That's why I usually like make fun of like those who are really waiting for ROM hacks, and I am not really giving them to them. I mean, I really got a ROM hack pre-recorded in advance, but that's going on another channel. But yeah, ROM hacks are the ones that are giving me the most views at this point. Back in the day, it used to be like Mario 3, Mega Man X. My older stuff without, I mean, yeah, without commentary are were the ones that give me the most views. Alright, what is... Okay, I go to the other side. Uh, I don't know, I don't know, I mean, I, I, I found them funny. I discovered them a lot before, a lot longer before people from YouTube did. I mean, before I became a YouTuber, I used to play a lot of ROM hacking, but it's not like... I mean, I remember like in some live streams in here, like people ask, What's your favorite ROM hack? When is your ROM, next ROM hack? How often do you play ROM hacks? It's like, they, they think I live, or they, they, they I made a life of ROM hacking, right? It's like I'm I'm devoted to ROM hacking things. I mean it's fun, but and there are people that actually made an entire YouTube careers out of making ROM hacks. I'm not gonna say names, but those who support this person know who I'm talking about. I mean how? I mean it's boring to just. Make a YouTube career out of playing one type of game all the time. It's all about the variety. No, your thought process is the correct one, in my opinion. I mean, if you follow a person that does commentary... I mean, if someone wants to uh, watch the games only, they can just subscribe to Cubex55, you know, the World of Long Plays channel, and just play stuff from there, I mean, watch stuff from there. Because there is non-commentary and full playthroughs of games. But if someone subscribed to my channel, it's because of me. Back in the day, it used to have a different mentality though. Saying that people should subscribe to the games and not make fun of me. But, oh yeah, I forgot about the, the barrels. But I, I changed that way of thinking. I mean, if you are subscribed to a person who does commentary, you should subscribe I mean, if you subscribe, it's because of the person. Alright, I actually made it to the very top and I fucked up. You subscribe because of the person, not because of the games. If you want games, just go watch long play channels, which do full playthroughs and nobody talks. Alright, I'm lost, clearly, but at least. I figured this out, in terms of this not being the way to go. At least there is no time limit, which is good news. But yeah, your thought process is the good one. It's a... It's like a good opinion, it's a, like a right opinion, even though opinions are not correct or incorrect, but... Your way of thinking is similar to mine. I mean, if you're here, it's because you like me, and the game choice I make. And you laugh at the stupid jokes I make and all those things. Alright. What places I still have to explore? That's what I want to know. Oh, yeah, I actually never saw this site in detail up here. I did Donkey Kong Country originally without commentary, and I did a replay on that, which is on the second channel. But, I mean, that's the, the only official playthroughs of Donkey Kong Country that I have. 
It's one of my favorite series. I mean, in fact, I would say that Donkey Kong Country 2 is my favorite game of all time. I hardly have favorites for anything, but Donkey Kong Country 2 is probably one of them. Like, exceptions. Wait, haven't been here, right? Oh, I actually made it, alright. Oh, never mind. This could be... Yes, it's a lost treasure! Buster Bunny, give me the treasure! On Tanamax, you leave this treasure alone! Buster Bunny, the treasure is mine! And I'll do what it... I'll do what it takes to get it, sorry. And it just goes away. Oh! He's fighting me. Shit, I have only one health left. Do I have to hit him? I mean, it would make sense. Oops. Unless I have to survive? I cannot touch the water either. Water is bad. I mean, yeah, I have done Donkey Kong Country, I would do it again. I would play it every every year. The three games. Can I actually make the jump from here and hit him? Probably I should get away only. No. What do I do then? Maybe wait for the guy? No, he goes away, and I cannot touch the water. Alright. Yeah, it's a super fast thing. Oh shit. Alright, I should do it this side then. There. Okay, I can anticipate him. Yes, I did Pokemon. On the second channel, I'm tired of doing Pokemon actually. Well, on the weekend I'm finishing uh, Pokemon Leaf Green Randomizer. The last part is like 40 minutes long. Alright, that's pretty much how you do it. So yeah, I'm a little bit oversaturated with Pokemon for now. You'll have to wait at least one or two years before I do another Pokemon game. So does this count as a beat level? Yep. Alright, I'll do this one last level uh, before moving on. And I'll do the rest of the game on the next uh, Retro Quest stream, which is probably going to happen. I'm not sure if Sunday, because Sunday I will go visit my parents who are on vacation, actually. So I'm not sure. If not next week, of course. I'll make an effort to make it on the weekend, though. So yeah, I mean... You know me, guys. I, I am more of the action type guy. Action game guy. So, you will... Pretty much never see me play RPGs if Pokemon would be the only one because I grew up playing it. Mm, I'm gonna redo this. Like years ago, I did like a couple of Pokemon ROM hacks, I did Pokemon Brown. And I think I did a randomizer on Pokemon Yellow? I'm not sure if it is on this channel. I know I did Pokemon Brown here. If you just can look it up, I did live streams on, on Deep Gamers. But I did another one, like two or three years ago. Like I used to work on two simultaneous Pokemon things. I did the same last year, but I quit one of the ROM hacks because it was too overwhelming. Oh, this is the part where... Alright, never mind.
Yeah, of course the dodo wouldn't be up here, of course, I have to go down. Oh, never mind, the dodo was actually here, kind of hidden. But it was not hard to find. Yeah, I think I already completed like an hour of gameplay for this game, I wasn't really calculating. Probably a little bit over a, uh, an hour.